G'day YouTubers. The stars were finally in alignment once again and I was able to get away from work early enough for an overnight fish. So let's jump straight into the video. It's five o'clock. I um, just arrived out of Harry's and anchored. Weather's not too bad. There's a few other people out here with the same idea by looks of it. I uh, thought I'd come out and give it a go overnight. The two spots that I had in mind to fish that I fished here before, uh, someone's already on them. So I had to find a new one. I'm set up to tea here. I'm cooking some sausages and onion. I didn't get here early enough to have any hope of getting a fish. If I'd been here a bit earlier, I would have had a bit of a troll in, see if I could pick up some mackerel. But it wasn't to be. Looking forward to having something to eat, getting a bit hungry. Well, just for the record, I did get a fish. <laughs> I didn't even think I had something on there, it's just a little grinner. So I didn't think he was hooked properly. That's why I thought I'll just go and turn the camera on, prove that I got one. When my back was turned, he jumped off, I turned around just in time to see him hit the water. Turn the camera off again until something happens, if it does. So I'm not in a real good spot tonight. Get up early in the morning, see if I can do better. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm awake. I left the line in when I went to sleep, thinking that I'd be waking up if something got on it. That wasn't the case because when I wound it in there, the hook's been bitten off. Uh, something was on it and I didn't hear it. I thought I might have heard the line flip, but obviously I was tired in the thought and uh, deeper sleep than I intended. So never mind, we'll see if we can get him now. Yay for Cocoa Pops, the breakfast of champions and those that didn't catch any fish tonight at all. Fish on! About time. Not huge. Ah, <laughs> stingray. Alright, well, you're away. A bit of excitement for a moment. Singray flaps, good eating. I'm not exactly what I came out to Harry's wanting to get. I want to see what have I got a garfish, a grinner, and a stingray now. Bait balls are starting to come through now, so I got the beefy out, getting some liveys. We've got one, two, three, four, I don't know, ten maybe. Oh, a few more. 
Okay, more. sitting over there in the water. The motion of the waves bouncing was all it took. Starting to get a bit of light in the sky now. Oh, more, more bait. Oh, three more. Okay, that might do me, I think. Oh, two more, one got away. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit of bait there. Oh, he's got one. Make up for the one that got away before. Oh, sorry. Do a video one day, show you how I pack this up. There's dawn over the water at Harry's. He's been instructed to stay out here overnight. I think I might have been one other boat out here overnighting with me. I think it might have been that guy down there. But these fellas. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, so I can see it count easily. They all came in while it was still dark, so that was quite instructive to just to see how early people pull up here. <laughs> well, there you go. Two fishing on the one gang, or snell. This one's belly hooked, I don't know how he's going to go for it. Living. Give him a go. Oh yeah, it's swam away all right. And this is a grinner. He'll he'll he's gonna stay for bait. some trolling with it as soon as I pull up something might give it a little bit longer. So, another one of these blokes and <laughs> power hooked again. Oh dear. Had a 
heavy on this and the various touch on the uh, on the reel just clicked a couple of times to whatever it was, bit it straight off and took a good deal of wine with it. Must have, must have a big mouth, maybe a shark. I was losing a lot of baits on the liveys, but they seem to have gone off the bite now. There's a lot of people over at Harry still persevering, but in my opinion, it's a bit late in the morning for it. So I'm having a troll, see if I can do any good there. Got a lot of bites on the liveys over at Harry's, but uh, didn't manage to land anything. A bit of a pity, but that's why they call it fishing. If you landed everything, they'd call it catching. There's an awful lot of weed in the water. Fairly light just here, but some of the clumps are very thick. And that makes trolling very hard. We get caught in the playing board, it's caught on the hooks, and just generally makes life difficult. Fires on Stradbrook again, as usual. How glassed out is this? Just look at it. At least Morton Bay is turning on the good weather for the lockdown. Anyone that can get out is going to enjoy it. Beautiful day on the bay. If you've seen some of my earlier videos, you'll know I've got a drone. I finally worked up the nerve to launch a drone while the boat's out in the middle of the ocean and take some pictures of the boat moving along. I thought it'd be great to have some pictures of the boat doing some trolling. So got the drone out in the uh, bait board, set it up, took a still picture, then I hit the video button, turned the video on and launched it. For some reason the video didn't work. I uh, thought I hit the right button, maybe I didn't, but anyway. I am totally disappointed that that video didn't work because the look on my face when the drone wouldn't come back near the boat must have been priceless. It took me a couple of minutes, but I worked out what it was. The rod holders up in the rocket launchers were intimidating the drone. The proximity sensors were seeing them, and then it had come so close to the boat, and then it would back away again. And it was too far away, I couldn't reach it. So eventually I brought the drone up alongside of the boat, leaned right out and grabbed hold of it and hung on while I killed the engines and got it on board again. So lesson learnt, a couple of lessons learnt there. Hopefully next time I'll have some decent video from the drone. Really sorry I missed that, it must have been hilarious. You've got to love autopilot for bringing you right back onto your pot. Weed <sighs> again. Nothing, except the baby squire. There you go, you're in. Whoa, did he go quick. Well, three more chances. I've got something this time. Might be one keeper in those three. Another little squire. Now you're the only possibility, and I think you might be female actually. I think you're all female. Yep, you are. Ah, two and one. <laughs> ah.
Dear, dear, bloody dear. Uh, a few more in this one. It's a male steak. So you might get a feed yet. Need to measure on some of them, mate. <laughs> Bit angry. Yes, just. <laughs> you must know what's coming, old fella. <laughs> Are you mating? Are you mating? Yeah, I think you're too small. Yep, by about two millimetres. Good lucky. And you're a female. That's a get out of jail free card for you. Hey, you too. Now, yeah. a bit of a scrapper. <laughs> uh, I wonder what the other fellow looks like. You've lost four legs and a claw. But I don't think you need to worry about fighting anymore because you're plenty big enough to eat. for this video I didn't get anything out of that last pot I came home a bit empty-handed but I had a great time out there I've learnt a fair bit from the exercise and I got on YouTube and learnt a lot more about how to rig live baits it's not just as simple as putting a hook through the shoulder you do get some hookups like that apparently but there's a lot more to it and you can do a lot more to make sure that you increase your hookup rate a lot of good videos there and well worth watching so, enjoy your lockdown, hope you do manage to get out fishing a bit, stay isolated, stay safe, until next time, good fishing. <laughs>